teammate gain. Hey guys, Spartan Jess here. And today, well again, I am accompanied by another friend of mine. Fans of noobs. We're here to talk about Frontline Armada, which is another map that we actually forged together. That's right. As you can tell, we're pretty uh, intrigued with a lot of huge fleet battle maps. <laughs> we we uh we need help. Please send someone. Yes, send someone. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where we've built four carriers on this map to the point where we can't really even forge anything else the, on the map. The budget <laughs> is pretty much maxed out. Last time I checked on this, yeah. Or not the budget, but the uh, item count. The actual object count. Yeah, 650 objects, I believe. First off, I guess we could talk about the frigate. Yes. Uh, based off the design that you made. It is. It is on uh, another map. It, this is like pretty much a recreation, like one-to-one -one almost. Yeah, uh, well, we, we tried to get as close as we could. So the specific design itself comes from uh, Cleanser's new Mombasa map, which is a map with a frigate and a uh, covenant carrier that's in the sky illuminating over a city. It's, it's kind of a, uh, a small, claustrophobic, yet big team battle map, and it's uh, kind of chaotic in itself, but that's where this frigate comes from. And uh, as you can tell with the autumn in the back, with the UNSC side, it's the exact same autumn design that we used for uh, our UNSC fleet battle map. Correct. It, this was a lot of fun to make to uh, two, th three times, I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically four for you, right? You've kind of made the same design on another map. What what, what was the map? A Sentinel Wall? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Sentinel Wall. It's a pretty cool map, too. On the Covenant side of things, we have a little miniaturized Corvette that we wanted to get here. would love to give credit where credit's due, and maybe somebody can uh, mention it in the comments section. Um, but I do not know the original creator of the Corvette over the island, but I basically stripped that design and sort of reworked a lot of it to sort of accommodate and, and budget cut a little bit of it so that we could get four ships into this map. And uh, last but not least, we have the Covenant Carrier in the background, which is another similar design design off of the same map that we were mentioning, the New Mombasa map. This is the Covenant Carrier that Cleanser actually designed. And it is fat. Very fat. Just don't look at the, the back of the carrier too much and you'll be fine. <laughs> we have these two opposing factions. Uh, is it for uh, Invasion Slayer, is it? Yes, it's made for Invasion Slayer. And it's also made, in, I think it's the same modded game type that was... <laughs> How are you in the ground? <laughs> I, uh... I'm what is... What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Uh, you know, MCC, uh really has lived up to its promise of Reach being exactly as it was ten years ago. <laughs> this uh, map was made for Invasion Slayer, but it is also, I think, oh, it's the Mythic Slayer game type. That's what it is. So it has Covenant anti-air turrets on the Corvette, so I can shoot down the Saber that's on the UNSC side. Whenever you're not in the air, spawn on the ground, and whenever you see crash drop ships, you could uh, find power weapons. Weapons, vehicles, including this little fun toy. Uh-oh. Ah, I wasn't even <laughs> in the zone! But uh, yeah, if you go to the top of the island, you'll find a crash pelican that has a Spartan laser and a target locator. Really, balance is essentially thrown out the window on this map, <laughs> if we're being honest here. It's just supposed to be one huge chaotic map with two huge fleets over the island, real honestly. I mean, we could make this map uh, compatible with, you know, assaults, kind of making it very similar to um, UNSC fleet battles. Other than that, yeah, it's supposed to be a huge, hectic map. Um, I know I integrated a teleporter system into each ship, so if you're in the carrier or the Corvette, you could actually teleport to the ground. And these uh, portals as well that are on the ground, they can take you back up to the ships that you came from, so it's two ways, I understand. 
There's also this scorpion tank here that's being held up by the pelican. A very unique idea that I don't see a whole lot of people do. So I'm not trying to toot our own horns, but uh, just saying. We, we, we done it. And same thing for the uh, Covenant. They have a, uh, a spirit that's holding a wraith with a pallet. So if you want to use that, make sure to shoot the pallet. And for those of you who are ODST fans, the frigate does also have our own little drop pods, which totally work. You'll be able to survive that fall. We might do maybe some updates for this map. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And any feedback would be appreciated. Yeah. This is... Frontline Armada. Took us forever to think of that name. Cleanser, thanks for uh, joining in into another collaboration with me. You bet. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat, Combat Evolved. Evolved. Yeah. We'll see you next time. See ya. Forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you really love me, check out my channel too.